Hello everyone, this is Kathleen, and I'm glad to be with you this morning. Um, this is the 3rd of December. Oh my gosh, December's just going by quickly. Anyway, I'm here with kind of a fun project, I hope. Hope it'll be fun for you. I just decided to go ahead and turn the camera on. I have joined the December Dozen and Done Junk Journal Challenge. Uh, here on YouTube with Dear Julie Julie, Junk Journal Every Day. That's the name of Julie's channel. And that's where you'll find the challenge and, and join if, if you are interested um, to join us. But it's uh, one journal done and a dozen of each of six elements. Um, so... That's six times a dozen. That's a lot of elements for my stash. And at least one of those of each of those dozen things needs to go into the journal. And I'm hoping to get more than one journal, obviously, done today, or not today, this month. Um, but I can at least do my December journal for this challenge. And sometimes I'm not able to did you get to Julie's challenges? You know, she does a challenge every month and I have joined her often in these challenges and I always enjoy them when I'm able to, to get them done. Um, she has lots and lots of ideas for junk journalers and I have appreciated over the years, um, you know, just being part of her community and um, I don't get to participate quite as often as I used to. But this one, I think I can do. So, December Dozen and Done Junk Journal Challenge. That's what I'm doing. And so you'll see videos, hopefully, through the month as I kind of complete these things. But the first uh, element, the first of the six elements that I'm going to do today is book page. Um, we have to make a dozen things from book pages. And so... I am making a master board and so I've already you can see that I've already glued you know several book pages together I think this is plenty to get a dozen different things uh, for my junk journals so um, I just want to show you how I how I do this um, so you just take book pages and glue them together end to end and then you take more book pages and glue on top um, in kind of a random pattern. And, and then you can add, you know, other fun things, which is what I'll have you watch me do. Um, one of the things that I'm going to do is add a few more, uh, like, larger pieces to kind of cover the the seams and and make it um, more sturdy so I'm also using digitals some digitals from dear Julie Julie she has an Etsy shop as well and um, I have a number of her digitals and at the end of the challenge if I can get it finished and do do all of her challenge uh, challenges, then then she has a, a what she calls a VIP party, which is a virtual internet party, where she gives away digitals, and we make things on at the party, um, just kind of together in a live uh, YouTube. So that's that's going to be kind of fun if I can manage it. So I'm just going to use a few of her digitals here on these book pages. And then I also will, at some point, make a dozen items from digitals of Dear Julie Julie. So I think, uh, let me do another one. I think I'm going to put this one here.
and then I think I'll move down and I think I want to put um, yeah maybe we'll do that one there so my goal with a master board I mean, you know we love making these and um and people do it you know a little differently each one um but my goal is to create layers i i just like and you know you can do you can do other add color you can do colored papers a lot of people do and i and i have done that um and i like that but but this is going to be um a foundation and and I'm I want to because I don't know how I'm going to use it exactly I I want to keep it pretty neutral at least this first part and so I'm going to leave all of the background um, pretty neutral I'm going to add this green though because this, I am going to use several of these items, whatever I make, in my Christmas, um, my December memories journal. Um, okay, I got all of those. Um, and green is pretty, still pretty neutral for other things, um, you know, in the spring or summer. So, so that'll be okay. Okay. So that's, I think, the, the basis. And so now the next thing I'm going to do is roll some gesso on here. So I'm going to get my gesso. And my brayer. just start kind of rolling this. Whoops. I don't have much room because of this. It's pretty, pretty long. just wants to knock everything off my desk which is uh, a mess as it often is gosh I think I knocked that I uh, apologize for that and then I want to just kind of soften some of that I don't want any edges hard edges you may want this to be kind of yeah that looks that looks good all right all right, we're going to come back and do some more of that a little bit later after I get some layers on here. That's what I'm doing, building layers. Um, now I'm going to take a stencil and I think we'll do some brown. There's, there's a, I'm just going to use some archival ink because... Um, I'm going to continue to put, you know, wet, wet stuff, and I don't want it to smear. I'm going to use some Distress inks in a bit, but I kind of don't want to, I don't 
want this part. I want this stencil too. To be, oops, that needs a softer edge up here. So just here and there, down the, the strip, I'm just trying to um, create some layers and add some interest and, and begin to kind of cover up the seams, you know what I mean? Just um, make it unified so that it doesn't look like just a bunch of book pages pasted together. All right, that's looking good. And you know, I can come back once I cut the elements, decide if it's going to be a pocket or a, a belly band or, or something. I can always come back in and do a little more. But you know, with, with collage, um, as I say, that I think the point is to build up layers. You're probably going to end up. I will end up covering something up that I add, but that's, that's just, you know, what happens with collage and sometimes it still peeks through and sometimes it doesn't and it ends up getting covered, but, um, that's okay because it, it just ends up being part of the process that creates something beautiful in the end. All right, now let's do some stamping. And I have, um, I have some snowflakes for later, but for now, I think I want to just put, this is my favorite, um, this is my favorite stamp. And I, and I always have to be careful that I don't get it upside down. I'll put it here by the numbers. And, you know, it just so happens that it's a 25, which is kind of nice for December. I can get rid of that. And I think we'll put one over here. And I also have my favorite vintage, another vintage office. So I think we'll do... One right there and I'm gonna layer over the top of this stencil because that's that's the point it's to layer on top of each of these things that that we end up doing all right and maybe one down here I don't know if, you, if that's still on camera but there we go all right so there's a couple stamps and um, because I know this end is going to be in the December journal, I will put a North Pole down in here. Okay, that's good. There's my lid. All right. Um, and maybe I will, let me do, let me do a, a snowflake down in this end as well. Just kind of, there we go. All right. Now the fun begins. Because now that I kind of have the base done, now I'm going to add some smaller uh, pieces of things. So I think I want to, um, yeah, let me put this doily here. So once you add more things on top, 
then um, then I'm going to have to come back with a little bit of a gesso. It's always kind of hard to use glue stick with a doily. But I don't want to get wet paint or wet glue out right now. So we'll just try to make it work. And hmm, I think I want to put this under. got a defective glue stick. It, I mean, the glue is fine, but I think it, um, the, the little twisty thing doesn't work very well. And... They're just so there's just you know things that you can do to create layers. I have um, just some random label kinds of digitals. I know that um, Stacy, my friend Stacy Belts at Stacy Stories, she has some great label digitals. Um, and then there's uh, Tracy Fox. She has some great, uh, let's see what, I can't remember. Tracy Fox on YouTube. I'm sure she'll have her list uh, Etsy. I think it's Love Junk Journals on Etsy. Um, she has some great labels, uh, just like Denison label. Well, all kinds of labels. Really fun. Um, let's see. Let's move down and put this. This is a little December calendar. Um, I'm trying to remember, I just bought another, uh, little digital, on Etsy, um, to some numbers. I think it's from the torn page on Etsy. Um, and then Dear Julie Julie, of course, has some really great dig digitals that I'm going to be using in this journal. Let's put this other doily down. So this glue stick, it, it separates down here at the bottom and, and that makes it hard. It keeps um, disappearing or sticking out more than I intended. And um, yeah, so. So it's just a little hard to work with. I need to get to town before I can get another one. And I just went to town, so it'll be a while. Just have to finish using that. Oh, I need another. Because it needs glue. 
too much glue when you do a doily. It's a little digital receipt. It's kind of fun. All right. And then here at the end, do just another couple little things. So the next step after these little decorative digitals, the next thing I'm going to do is um, I want to, I have some of this tape that I've made, old cellophane tape. I want to put a couple pieces of that around. fun, you know, to just put all kinds of stuff down and then see how it turns out. You know, it's kind of random when, when you cut it. I've made this with just with regular, you know, cellophane tape and then I've used um, alcohol ink on it. And let's do one more if I can get a piece off. So the alcohol ink just stains the, the tape and it makes it look, you know, old and vintage. Let's put that here. Okay, so it's looking good. Now the next thing I want to do is, um, I think, I think I'll just roll it a little bit more gesso, just kind of randomly. So we'll do that starting down here again. here that's that's a little bit of a clop so I will just smooth that out all right okay all right now I'm gonna spill some coffee and I apologize the sun's coming so we've got to finish this up either that or move down Anyway, I'm just going to now spill a little bit of coffee on it. And let that sit for just half a second to soak in a little. And then I'll just pick some of it up. See, that was a lot, so we got to get rid of some of that. A 
push some out down here. All right. Now let me give that a little bit of a dry. Well, maybe before I dry it, I'll go ahead and do the paint splatter. So I want to um, mix a little bit of black acrylic paint. With some water. And where's my little splatter brush? Oh, I should have dried it. That's gonna, yeah, that's gonna soak into the coffee. I sometimes I just am impatient and I think I don't want to dry it, but yeah, it needs to be dried. Hang on a second. <laughs> Like Dalmatians, 101 Dalmatians. Not the look I was going for, but honestly, when you do this kind of thing, it there are things sometimes that you can't control, and then there are things that you learn. You know, like I know that I've been taught as a mixed media artist to let things dry between. But, you know, we get so impatient. We want to, I didn't want the video, you know, to be too long. So, so we take shortcuts and then we learn what we don't like, you know. So, it's going to, but the thing that, the other thing that I have learned, is what I said last week in my philo philosophical video, you learn that it's okay um, and sometimes you have these happy accidents sometimes you don't like it and sometimes it's a happy accident so all right I think that's probably good enough and um, so now we'll come back and do some other tinier splatters And if you really don't like it, you know, you can always just cover it up with gesso. That works. Or cover it up with another layer of some kind. Um, yeah. Okay. Now. Now. That's, that's finished. That's my finished um, master board. Uh, or snippet strip. Or collage strip. So now I can cut it into three and make a narrow kind of a paper snippet. I can cut larger pieces and make pockets. I can make tags. I can make just all kinds of things. Um, but one of the one of the parts of the challenge is to make a dozen elements out of these book pages and and put one in my current journal. So I am going to cut off, um, I'm gonna cut off this piece here and make a tag. A tag or a journal paper, you know, whatever. Okay, all right. So I will make 11 other things at least out of this, 
Let me put that over there. And we're going to concentrate on this piece, and it's going to, to be a tag. Um, so, I need... I need a coffee dyed paper. I'm going to glue the whole thing to a coffee dyed paper. And then part of the challenge, oh, this thing, part of the challenge is to, um, you have to, to the three things that you put on your element that goes in the journal, it has to have three other things added, three other, um, three other things done to it alterations so it, so it needs this now needs to be altered with three items that would um, help it match my journal and so since this is my December memories journal I'm going to add three kind of Christmassy things and so how big do I want the tag I want it to be probably, well, no more than seven inches. So, let's see. So that would be, so I'm just gonna cut this little Julius Caesar off. I said, Caesar, sorry. Um, we'll do, we'll use him some, somewhere else. And I'm going to round the corners down here at the bottom. This is going to be kind of a wide tag. And while this is soft, I'm just going to... Oh, I better not try to fold it. So I will just make the tag cuts here. Let's see. There it is. So it comes this way. my distress ink. What have I done with it? There it is. All right, so sorry for the light. Um, I am going to town pretty soon and I will look for I will look for a sheer curtain and a, a rod that I can add to the window and um, with some rings that I can pull across uh, when the sun is in the way. And hopefully that will help, so just be patient until I can get to town. So we live in the middle of nowhere, New Mexico. I love it, yeah. We live seven miles about down a dirt road out on the kind of the central plains headed east from Albuquerque and south of Santa Fe and so sometimes town is Albuquerque and sometimes town is Santa Fe um, but I love where we live and, it, and as soon as I head down the dirt road all the stress just rolls off and I feel so much better Okay, um, I have a couple little things. I'm going to use this little piece of, um, of ribbon. It's a vintage ribbon. And I'm going to put it up here on the top and just, oh, sorry about the noise, staple that on. And then... I was planning to add this little piece of, which way do I want it? Hmm. Well, I also have some napkins. I could, I could add a napkin or 
also have a couple of other, where did I put those? Oh, here. Here it is. I have another couple of these little Dear Julie Julie digitals. I kind of, oh, that's, she's kind of pretty. Yeah, maybe I will put her on there along with that pretty vintage rickrack. All right, let me round her corners. And do a little distress. Oh my word, the sun is just right in the way. Doesn't look too good with that glass. Um, so Mm hmm Sorry, you have to... Okay, I think I like that. All right. Um, I just start making piles, you know, when I... Oh, gosh. Okay, we'll put her down there, and then let me get this glue out for the rickrack. Let's see, I could, I could put the rickrack down here, but I'm thinking I want it up. Yeah, I think we'll go across the top there. We can get the glue to come out. I love um, listening to my clock tick. I don't know if you can hear it. But it's very soothing to me. When I was a little girl, my dad, um, whenever we were sick, my dad wore a pocket watch. And um, when we were sick, he would put that next to our cheek um, as we lay on the couch. And, and um, so that we could be soothed by the tick tuck of his watch. And yeah, that... So that's that's a comfort to me, TikTok. All right, there is that. And you can't see it very well because of the sun, but look over here to the right in the, the shade. There's my tag for my journal. And um, so that gives me some room on the back. Looks like I need to do a little distressing on the back, which I can do off camera but that's the way that turned out and it's gonna match oh I think I took my journal into the other room to show my husband how it was turning out and so um, I don't have it handy but this will match for sure and I appreciate you being with me today watching this master board and um, if you want come over to dear Julie Julie and get the link there's a facebook group that matches that that goes for the challenge and if you want it would be fun to see you there and have you play along so thanks for being with me and we'll see you next time